Entropy is often described as the measurement of disorder. But the uncertainty lies on what the disorder is being considered as. Now let us get into what is reversible process to be able to define the entropy. Now, consider you are traveling from one place to another by a particular mean, the process is called reversible process only if you travel backwards, in the same exact path, by the same mode of vehicle. Even a slight change in the process would make it irreversible one. Now getting into entropy. Imagine a glass getting broken down into pieces, and now we wait for it to get attached back on its own, even if you wait for centuries, it's not going to happen. But why? This is because of the entropy since the breakage of glass is irreversible process. Entropy increases in irreversible process. What if those pieces get into a glass again? For this to happen, every single piece of the glass, has to get attached in the same place by traveling the same path where it got shattered. In other words, the reversible cycle has to take place. Now you can come to a conclusion what this term, entropy, really means. It is the measurement of how much the process is disordered from its initial state through any means. Entropy increases due to irreversible process. Entropy can increase due to increase in temperature, as it induces the kinetic energy. Here, I have brewed a cup of hot coffee, and I set it on a resting table for some time. And when I come back the coffee is no longer hot, it's of the room temperature now. Here there is an increase in entropy. Due to first law of thermodynamics the heat from the coffee is flowing out to the surrounding to make the system and surrounding equilibrium, which is an irreversible process. Now imagine, I leave the coffee inside a thermal flask, which is basically an isolated system. Then there will no loss of heat or energy to the surrounding. Also, there is no irreversible process taking place. Hence the entropy remains constant here.